Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Room Boy HD here and welcome back to Chelsea Career Mode Season 7 Episode Number 1. Well, it was supposed to be Episode Number 2 but I fucked up the recording, accidentally deleted the file for the first episode. So this will be your first episode. We actually made a signing on new number one goalkeeper, Muller. Let's take a look at this man. Muller signs for Chelsea for £90 million from Borussia Dortmund. Very good, very young still. He will be number one and replacing Ter Stegen and Jan Oblak as our first choice goalkeeper. Also, we already started the preseason tournament. We've already played one game, but we did win 5 0 against Hyderabad FC in the first preseason tournament. Well, I just show you guys the transfer history for our club. Where earlier on in the month, we did see some outgoings for our players. Pedro Ruiz gone to Fiorentina for 55 million. Morera, 18 year old centre defensive midfielder, out on loan again to Real Sociedad. Bataglia, young goalkeeper, out on loan to Union Berlin. Emily Otero going out on loan again to Osasuna, signing off the goalkeeper Muller plus Dennis De Jong, one of our youngsters. So he will be part of that exchange for £90 million. Pounds. Mark Andre Testegen has left the club at 37 years old to Crystal Palace. Adrian Krupa also going out on loan to Monza. We said that one of our free signings that we signed from free agents. He has gone to Bayern Munich straight on loan. A very promising talent up front. Jan Oblak at 36 years old has gone to Manchester United for £10.2 million. We did make some money for him. Emilio Fuchs has gone to Crystal Palace on loan as well. Tarek Said, the Mo Salah region has gone to Leverkusen for a year loan. Moises Dabo to Barcelona, 18 year old centre back on loan as well. And finally, Sam Dismet to Leicester City on loan for the rest of the season. So yeah, that's all. The transfers that we made and no time wasting we will have another match against Real Betis in the preseason tournament. This is how our squad is looking like for now. The goalkeeper making his debut for Chelsea. Muller potentially being our number one. Let's go straight into the match. After months of speculation, the deal is done and we're just minutes away from his debut. Can he live up to the hype? We'll find out soon. Alright guys, it's been a while, so I'm a bit rusty here and there. Davies charging on the left hand side, finds Hernandez, Hernandez to Savio, Savio. Darwin Nunes who fakes the shot, cuts inside, Darwin Nunes with the shot and Darwin Nunes. Of course, he had to score, Darwin Nunes breaks the deadlock for Chelsea in the 10th minute and it's 1-0. Take a look at that, lovely ball from Fernandez to Savio, Savio into the middle, fake shot from Darwin Nunes, puts it past the goalkeeper. Enzo again finding Savio on the left, Savio finding Darwin Nunes on his left hand side, Darwin Nunes just rolls it past the goalkeeper, no mistakes from him again. Two in two for Darwin Nunes, this time with his left foot, not a problem at all. Darwin Nunes receiving the ball, charges him to the box and he just rolls it past the goalkeeper. Should have done better there the goalkeeper and it's 2 near to Chelsea. It is to Sergio Gomez. See in the box, no one's tackling him, good block from Savio and we can launch a counter attack, here's Darwin finding Savio Savio's got pace, Cherky's asking for it, Cherky's got it from outside, Ryan Cherky tries the shot and it's the third for Chelsea in the 25th minute only we got the third Ryan Cherky with a wonderful finish from just inside the box to put it past the goalkeeper take a look at that, Ryan Cherky incredible pace to beat the defender Laces it into the top corner, well actually in the middle of the net. But we'll take it, goalkeeper already beaten thrice. Well you say to Fernandez, Wozniak, to Peters, acres of space here, no one's tracking him. Peters with a shot and Muller first test for the club. He passes it with brilliant colours. Again strong in the box, Fana, back to Cabin, and Savio with a good tackle. He can launch the counter, no Torrente denies. And the ball falls to Gruda, who's in the box and Gruda shoots this time beating Muller. One goal back for Real Betis. Poor defending again from the boys. Take a look at that, Savio losing the ball out in the middle. Savio losing the ball out in the middle. And the ball falls to the striker who beats Muller first time. Savio to Ryan Shirky. Beats the defender, gets on his left and he tries another one. Oh my god, what a goal from Ryan Shirky. And it's two now for him as well as Darwin Nunes. But what a goal that is from Ryan Shirky from outside the box. Lovely footwork from him to beat the defender, get on his left side. Take a look at that control, gets on his left, shoots it from the D. 
in of the crossbar and in for the fourth. And that is it. The halftime whistle is gone. Chelsea 4, Real Betis 1. But yeah, guys, I think we're going to win this game very easily. So we will simulate. Sim to the end. I don't see us losing this one. So let's take a look at the results. Oh, and we considered two. How unfortunate. Oh, so we considered two goals to make it 3 4. And Gruda scored a hat trick, man. He scored two more in the 61st minute and the last minute of the game. We won. That's the most important thing. Let's take a look at the structure of our club right now. Especially the players, the squad hub. We have a couple of players already out on loan. David Lacrosse out on loan to North Shellen. Velasquez to Basak Sehe. Aiden Fisher out to Amiens SE. Rafael Moreira to Real Sociedad. Thomas Bataglia to Union Berlin. Emilio Otero to CA Osasuna. Adrian Krupa to Monza. Teixeira to FC Bayern Munich. 19 year old already, 83 rated. So he's one to look out for in the future. Tariq Syed also 83 rated on loan at Leverkusen. Emilio Fuchs on loan to Crystal Palace. Moise Dabo on loan to FC Barcelona. Sam Desmet on loan to Leicester City. We already have a lot of players out on loan. And these are the players that we currently have. We could potentially be seeing a few departures from the club and also some last few minute signings take a quick count on how many english players we have of course we have to make it realistic to the premier league one two three four five six seven all right we already have seven english players to meet the homegrown talents quota so we are good on that front some pretty interesting offers here Newcastle United coming in for Sven Botman. They want their old player back. They are offering 60.9 million. It's a tough one. He's already 29 years old. Pretty impressive so far for us. 89 rated at the back. We could use some experience in him. Gianluca Prestiani, Bayern Munich knocking at our door. Hoping to get a swap deal for Matthias Delight. This could actually work out because if we sell Sven Botman and we accept Gianluca Prestiani's offer and then we get Matthias Delight as Sven Botman's replacement. So yeah, that could be pretty interesting. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Should this deal go through guys? So yeah, we'll put it on hold for now. We'll go into our next pre-season friendly game against Real Sociedad. And we have another big offer for Ryan Cherokee coming in from France. Paris Saint-Germain offering 213.9 million pounds for Ryan Cherokee. A lot of clubs have rejected. Man City, Inter Milan have rejected. That should we sell him again, guys? 94 rated, 25 years old only. We could potentially fetch 305 million for him if we want to. But he is an important player for the club, so we will reject all offers for him and thank you guys so much for waiting for season number seven i've been out having some rest away from the youtube stuff but i'm back as always thank you guys so much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed 350 subscribers we're still trying to get to that i'll see you in the next episode take care and peace